Welcome to the Mom's Choice Awards Filming Studio at Book Expo 2012. I'm here this afternoon with Paul Bramson, multi-award winner for King of Glory and One God, One Message. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. And welcome Appreciate to BEA. Thanks. I want to talk about King of Glory first. Okay. It's a beautifully illustrated book. Thanks. And it's Bible stories. What makes this presentation of Bible stories so unique? Well, let me uh, give it to you in ABC. Perfect. All biblical and contemporary. All right? Okay. This is a book, it's really for all ages. I, I know uh, early on when I told some booksellers this, they were thinking, uh, you can't have it for all ages, we don't know where to put it in our bookstore. But I took inspiration actually from Walt Disney on that, that their, uh, their media, their movies, and their theme parks, he said, were for kids of all ages, for kids and their parents. So it is for all ages. It's also for all cultures. Uh, my wife and I have worked the past three decades in uh, Senegal, West Africa, and uh, the Middle East, the Muslim world. And so the very pictures in it are adapted in such that they're very uh, multicultural. They're uh, beautiful. In fact, you don't, except on one page, you don't see any blonde-haired, blue-eyed kids in it. Uh, it's, so it's a book that's adapted also for all worldviews, in a sense, to present the story of the Bible in a way that's understandable to people, whatever worldview they come from. So it's for really all uh, audiences. It's also going to be in many languages. We're translating it right now into French, Spanish, uh, Kurdish, Turkish, and Arabic. And there'll be more later. Now so that's did, the all. Now how did you prioritize the languages? Because normally, the, it, well, we're going to Good translate question. it into French, Spanish, German, maybe Chinese. Yeah. I mean, that tends to be, how did you pick Turkish we, and Arabic? We work primarily in the French-speaking and Arabic-speaking world. So Rock International, uh, Relief Opportunity Care for Kids, the nonprofit that I'm with, um, we spearhead English, Arabic, and French. And all the other languages basically come to us and say, we like your book, we want to translate it. And so we work with them. That's so it's whoever comes awesome to us. Awesome yeah. To have you know, so. different, clearly Turkish, Middle East, North Africa, that's very yeah. different worldviews yes. come to you. Yeah. Now, did they find you or do you sort of promote to them first. They find us. They already know some of our previous products. We have a radio program that's in about 100 languages now. And uh, again, they, these people have just come to us. So it's sort of well known already, the resources that we have. Do you have a favorite Bible story that is in King of Glory? A favorite Bible story? In, in, the, in the book, yeah. Uh, if you had to pick one, could you well, just say, let's Yes, go. yes, really, if I had to pick one, uh, because of the context we work in, it would be, It'd be the one on Abraham and his sacrifice. So I'd go, I'd go here, uh, this story here, Abraham. I won't tell it all to you now, but uh, it is Abraham's sacrifice because this is a story that Muslims know uh, to, to a large extent. They have a yearly sacrifice in which they kill a ram commemorating this event. And so I love to tell the story and then take them forward to explain the meaning of how that was fulfilled 2,000 years later on that same mountain range. So that's, yeah, so it's all. It's all. Yeah. Well, what the other thing that's interesting about the book is that they're not chapters, they're not written as cited Bible verses, but they're called scenes. Okay. Why did you choose that's that? That's included in my scene. Do you want me to tell you now? Sure. That's, that's the contemporary part, okay? The contemporary part is that, well, first of all, let me tell you about the binding. It's a, it's a new technology in binding. It's called pure glue binding. And so you can bend it all the way back and it's great for telling stories to kids. You know, the old classic, read it and go like this. You can Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. Every uh, parent and every teacher yeah. will love you. But also, I know that today, kids and adults, a lot, they're much more into watching movies than they are reading books. Yes, go are. to your library and you see how the transition's happening there. Uh, so you're right. Instead of having a preface, we have, um, we have what we call uh, the scene selection, or behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Instead of having uh, chapters, we have scene selections. Uh, instead of having chapters, we have scenes. And finally, instead of having an appendix in the back, we have uh, bonus features. <laughs> so there's a closing and then uh, the bonus features in the back. So it's designed a lot like a movie. I was gonna say, there's a lot, your earlier references to Disney and then now the way you presented that, there was a lot of research that went into how we want to compose the book, not from the content yeah, perspective, right. but from building it that's true. and introducing yeah. it to an audience. That's true. That's absolutely yeah. fascinating. Yeah. So that's the C. You want me to get back to the B? Go to the B. In the middle? Absolutely. All right. 
the B is biblical, and we really sought to have biblical accuracy in the pictures. Let me just give you three examples. For example, uh, Noah's Ark, that'd be one. You don't see a giraffe sticking its head out of a little boat out yeah. on the water. Uh, we sought to make it according to the dimensions that you, you read in scripture. Uh, another would be, for instance, the story of the birth of Jesus. You don't see the wise men coming to the stable. We talk about the shepherds coming, but the wise men come later. Yeah. Also, we, don't, we do show three here, but there are more back here. So there may have been more than three, since the Bible doesn't say there were three. Yes. And just one more example, we worked at this with the artist to get this biblically accurate. It's the transfiguration when the light, uh, Jesus is the light of the world and the word that was made flesh. He was on the Mount of Transfiguration and the, the light of God shone out of his face, the scripture says, like the noonday sun. If you go on Google Images and look for uh, the transfiguration pictures, you'll be hard pressed to find a picture that's biblically accurate. It shows him glowing, it shows the light coming out of his heart or something like that, right. but it doesn't show his face shining like the sun. So we, we sought to be biblically accurate. Even, even in a lot of the paintings, uh, the, the Jerusalem is pictured and we show the East Gate and we tried to consider the geography and all these things. Uh, our artist, Armina San Martin, uh, she lives in Argentina and she's done a wonderful job. She was she great to work with. Incredibly yeah. beautiful yeah. illustration. I mean, they're frame-worthy illustrations. Well, thank and as you. a children's book author, uh, reader, I love, I love books where I can just cut them out and picture them, but I won't. I won't. Thanks. I will keep it together. <laughs> thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thank you so much. And enjoy your first BEA. All right. It'll be a blast. It's, it's great to be here. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations. Thank you so much.